What's good? It's Paul Pickett, Promo Palace LLC, and this is Promo Palace LLC Vlog 14. And we're going to call this one Optimizing Your YouTube Channel. You got to bear with me on my voice doing so many of these podcasts and vlogs. I <clears throat> Optimizing Your YouTube Channel. Um, first things first, header banner, gotta have a header banner. I mean, on all your social media platforms, you gotta have a header banner. If not, you're looking kind of amateur. <clears throat> so header banner, you can get a header banner design, do promo palace, or you can go on Fiverr, you know, it's up to you. Get you a nice header banner design. That's first things first. Um, then we want to get into what we call the three T's in YouTube channel optimization. And that's, um, your title, your thumbnail, and your, um, tags. My bad. It's early in the morning. I'm losing my train of thought. Title, your thumbnail, and your tags. Um, a lot of times I see a lot of artists when they upload their video, they, their titles are always wrong. Sometimes they might just have the song title and that's it, you know, or the song title and, you know, music video, official video. But what about the artist's name? You know, any proper format of titling your stuff on YouTube, you should have your, for musicians, you should have your artist name first, the name of your song after that, and then what kind of video it is. If it's the official music video, if it's the lyric video, um, if it's the behind the scenes video, a video teaser or whatever, you know, you should put that next, you know, and typically for a brand, you know, you just want to put titles that stand out. But for musicians, you really can't make your title stand out unless you do deceptive marketing like what Soldier Boy did, like Jay-Z featuring Eminem, and then you click on it and it's your music or somebody else's music. It's not Jay-Z or Eminem. But, you know, the proper format is your artist name first, your song title, and then whatever kind of video it is. Then another thing I, n I never, ever see any artist do, and, you know, just because you're a musician, it doesn't mean these steps doesn't, you know, like relate to your channel as well, you know, like... I never see artists creating thumbnails. They just always upload the video and go with the screenshot of the video. But nothing from that makes your video stand out when people are searching it from the rest when other people got thumbnails. You know, they got graphic thumbnails with bright colors that stand out. So, like, if you go to our channel, and once again, if you're on YouTube, subscribe in the, the right-hand corner, and we're going to get in that also as well you know, for your, your watermark as well, but, um, hit that subscribe button, but you know, you, you gotta, you gotta put thumbnails on it. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you, you want thumbnails, all our, like all our videos have thumbnails and each thumbnail is different, you know? So when people search the videos, you know, they could stand out from the rest that don't have thumbnails because everybody else typically doesn't have thumbnails. So the thumbnails is what's making your, your video stand out when people see it, you know, unless you're just an artist that's got a lot of fans and you're super popping. But if you're up and coming and you're unsigned, you don't have a lot of fans. That's not the case. So you need thumbnails to make your videos stand out, you know. Also, um, your tags. You know, um, your tags are, you know... You should have standard tags in place that you always use. You know, some should be John Ray Bass. Some should have your artist name, your brand names. But you need to have as many um, searchable keywords tagged in. You know, hip hop, hip hop music, rock, rock music, pop, pop music, you know, new pop music, whatever. You know, there's just so many different variations of John Ray keywords that you can, you know, use so you need to have your 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 tags use up all the tags you can use up all the tags you can on your youtube you know what i'm saying 
So right now we got your title out the way. We got your your thumbnails out the way. We got your tags out the way. We got your header out the way. So you got you do your header design. Make sure your your titles are artist name, song title, official music video. Try to you know always design a get you know pay somebody to do a thumbnail or design a thumbnail yourself, or you know buy you know you could Google um, thumbnail creators you know software or or websites that you can pay monthly and create unlimited thumbnails or whatever. You know, so you got your header, we got your title, we got your tags, and we got your thumbnail. Okay, another big thing is your watermark. A lot of people put their logo for their watermark. And that's cool, but, you know, if you put a subscribe button, it gives the people watching the video an easier access, it makes it easier for them to subscribe. Because this idea that everybody's going to subscribe the first time they see your video is bogus, man. It doesn't work that way unless you have cosigns, big features, some kind of traction, already fan base in place. If you're trying to build fan base, this idea that everybody's just going to subscribe the first time they see your video is is bogus, man. That's why in advertising, it has to be done persistently and consistently. They have to see your ad over and over and over and over again sometimes before people start to like, you know, what you have to offer. It's like radio, you know, they play the song over and over and over and over again to the point where you might not like a song at first, but it starts to grow on you after a while. And that's the thing. Sometimes things have to grow on people for them to just say, oh, okay, I like this. So I love this. And now I'm going to subscribe. So this idea that everybody's going to love what you have to offer as a musician out the gate, you know, it's bogus, man. And like I said in my last vlog, the oversaturation of submissions, what makes your song stand out Amongst 170,000 other songs. And that's just a small number. Because they're dropping, there's there's thousands of songs being uploaded on streaming platforms every single day. You know, if you got two to 3,000 songs a day being uploaded on a platform, that's 60 to 90,000 songs per month. By the end of the year, what's making your song stand out amongst a million songs being uploaded in a year? And I could tell you it's not just uploading it to YouTube. You know, you have to have your titles right, your tags right, your header has to look good, you want to have thumbnails that stand out, and you want to have your watermark be a subscribe button. You know, you add, add the logo to the video itself. When the video is being edited, if you're so concerned with the logo being on the video, you add the logo to the video itself if you're really concerned in that aspect, you know, and you add the subscribe button because you have to make things easier for people if you want them to subscribe. You got to throw it in their face, you know, once again, if you're on YouTube in the right hand corner, hit that subscribe button, you know what I'm saying? If not, you know. You might see this on Instagram. This video is going on Instagram. They're going on Facebook. They're also going on my podcasts, you know, that on Apple, Spotify, Amazon, Deezer, uh, TuneIn, Slacker, as well as other platforms. It'll be on Instagram TV, Facebook fan page. Uh, of course, if you're on YouTube, it's on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button in that right-hand corner, you know. Also, go to the website, promopalace.biz. As you see in the left-hand corner, that's our website. Also, you can see in the background, um, we got a uh, – let me move out your way. We got a Promo Palace LLC banner and Indy Castle banner combination. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we'll switch that out for the podcast. We got our own different one for the podcast. Once again, you could uh, Google Paul Picket Podcast. To get these vlogs, you know what I'm saying? You can subscribe on Apple, Spotify, Amazon, Deezer, and any other platform you see it on. Definitely subscribe on YouTube. Um, 
you can email us at promopalace1 at gmail.com. It's where we handle all business typically. And also check out indiecastle.net, planetplaylist.com. Check out our apparel, new litter apparel. Check out the apparel, new litter apparel at newlitter.com. And we got um one of our domains is uh, relaunching promopalacellc.com as well, you know. And once again, I'm Paul Pickett, Promo Palace LLC owner, CEO. Um, you know, if you missed anything on this vlog, go back, listen to it again. All this stuff you can Google. And, um, you know, probably find some, you can actually find some videos on YouTube where people do the step-by-step, -step, but I don't really do the step-by-step. -step. You know, I'm going to just give you the information and it's, it's your job to act on it and, and take this information and, and move forward with it. You know what I'm saying? It, that's your job, your responsibility. All I could do is, is give you the honest information, you know what I'm saying? And, and you could, you could Google plenty of videos and on youtube or whatever i mean a lot of people tell you exactly what i said the same thing the three t's titles thumbnails and tags make sure you have your header banner use a subscribe button for your watermark and that's how we roll man promo palace.biz paul pickett and i'm out take care